and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks so without wasting any time let's get started today's problem is largest sub array of zeros and ones which is marked as a easy level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given one array arr of integer type and what we have to do we have to tell the length of longest sub array which contains equal number of zeros and ones okay all right so first of all you should know what is sub array so if you are a beginner let me tell you basically sub array is a part of total array and that part should be continuous so its sub array is a continuous part of a total array okay what does this mean this means like if i want to include this 0 1 1 yes this is a sub array if i want to take 1 1 1 0 yes this is a sub array but uh, if i want to take let's suppose this 0 1 uh, yeah if I want to take this 0 1 and after that this 1 0 so it is not a sub array because it is not continuous so we have to include this one as well in that sub array now it is a total sub array of 0 1 1 1 0 and now it is a sub array okay all right so in this way uh, we have to take sub arrays and we have to return the length of longest sub array such that it contains equal number of zeros and ones okay so if I will take let's say this 0 1 yes it is a sub array uh, uh, like yes it is a valid sub array because it contains equal number of 0 and 1 that is 1 0 and 1 1 so its length is 2 okay similarly if I will take this sub array 1 1 0 0 again it's a valid sub array because it contains equal number of zeros and ones and its length is 4 okay but if I take let's suppose this whole sub array 0 1 1 1 0 0 it is a valid yes this is a valid sub array and its length is 6 okay valid basically means equal number of 0 and 1 which I will be taking so for this question that will be a valid sub array okay but if I include let's suppose this sub array this much sub array so 1 0 1 1 1 0 is this a valid sub array no it is not even a valid sub array why because it contains 4 ones and only two zeros four ones and two zeros so it is not a valid sub array and we cannot consider it okay so we have got this three sub arrays and uh, whose length are two four six so basically we will return six because it is the longest sub array and we have to return the length of longest sub array so we will return six okay now i think the problem statement will be very very clear to you so now let's move on to the approach which we are going to take but before that please subscribe the channel actually because i am recording this video second time in the first time uh, video does not get recorded i don't know why only audio got recorded so i have to record it again so please subscribe the channel okay all right now let's think of the approaches which we can take uh, we will start with the brute force approach so brute force brute force approach is pretty simple what i will do i will simply uh, take two nested loops first nested loop uh, will be here and the second nested loop i will basically start from this one and i will keep on having the count of number of one and number of zero uh, keeping the count of both and whenever i'm getting equal number of one and zero i'm updating my answer let's say at any answer i'm getting so i can update that answer and in the last uh, whatever will be the ma maximum answer i will simply return it okay so this is a uh, brute force approach and i think you guys can also write the code of it and if you are a beginner level uh, uh, dsa solver so you should try brute force approach as well okay uh, although it can give tle but you should try it. okay all right so but the time complexity of this approach will be big o of n square and if i will see the constraints here so basically constraints are 10 raised to the power 5 and on n square time complexity this will be having and 10 raised to the power 10 and it will give me time limit exceed it will give me time limit exceed so we have to optimize our approach okay how can we optimize our approach let's see so okay so in the optimize approach uh, if i can know ki how many ones and how many zero are there at each point i can get some uh, i can get some idea okay so what i'm going to do is basically i will take a sum variable i will take a sum variable and what i will do if i am getting one if my array at like i'm iterating this array and if i'm getting one at any point it means i will add plus one to my sum okay but if i'm getting zero at any point i will do minus one to my sum i will do minus one to my sum okay so what how will this help how will this help let's quickly see this so it at this point at this point my sum will be one my sum will be one okay and if i go to this point i go to this point here also my sum will be one 
how because look uh, my current sum is 1 at this point and after that i got 0 so my sum will be 0 okay and then there are three ones so my sum will be 3 and then there are two zeros so i will decrease uh, my sum two times and here also sum will be 1 so basically my sum is 1 at this point and this both points so what is the sum of this much array what is the sum of this much sub array this much sub array sum is 0 and what does mean what does it mean if the sub array sum is 0 it means ki it contains equal number of zeros and ones it contains equal number of zeros and one if any sub array sum is zero okay so we have now uh, let's say formatted our question statement such that ki if i am getting any sub array whose sum is equal to zero we have to return the length of longest sub array whose sum is zero and uh, basically here this zero are basically acting as minus one okay so these zeros are acting as minus one i think it's now very very simple and it's clear so uh, very very simple it is now let's quickly do a dry run for this test case this example uh, dry run our of our approach so what i will do i will take one variable answer which will be currently equal to zero i will be having one current sum as well uh, current sum it will be updated at each index at each iteration it is also zero and i will have a map map will be basically to tell ki if uh, how can i tell look here the sum was one so how can i tell at which which index my sum was one i have to check it again and again na, ki if at let's suppose at this point my sum is four and at this point also my sum is four so i have to check ki yaar, earlier i have got some four because i have to get the index of it then only I can get the starting index and ending index and the difference of it will be the length. I think you guys are getting this. Okay. So for that, I will be having a map and what map will be storing is pretty, pretty simple. Uh, it will be containing, telling me the sum and this sum I got at which index. Okay. All right. So first of all, I got my sum as one. And one more thing, I will be starting my map. In the very starting, I will be putting ki my map current sum is zero and we are at minus one index. Okay. All right. Why it is needed? I will tell you. Uh, let's move quickly move so my current sum i've got one element i will do plus one okay i will now check key is one present in my map no one is not present so what i will do i will add one to my map and its index is zero it means i am getting one sum at zero index okay all right uh, moving on now what i will do i move to next element which is zero on zero what i will do i will do minus one to my sum now again this one and minus one are cut and my sum is zero okay i will check in map is zero is present yes zero is present at minus one index it means ki i have got a sub array which contains equal number of zero and one how i will get the length my current index is this is this point which is one and map value of current sum zero is minus one so i will do something like i minus mp dot get current sum uh, which is minus one two so this two is greater than my answer i will update my answer to two okay all right in this way we will keep on doing and let's quickly iterate faster now so now what i will do again at this point i got one so my i will do again plus one my current sum is one i will check in map is one present yes one is present at zero index now look one is present at zero index basically means till this point my sum is one and now i am currently at this two index i am currently at two index here also my current sum is one it means this much sum is zero and it means uh, it contains equal number of uh, zeros and ones okay all right so how can i get the length of it current index which is two minus mp dot get current sum one which is equal to this zero so 2 minus 0 is equal to 2 which is equal to my current answer which is equal to my current answer so i will not update my answer okay all right moving on very faster now guys i think till this point it is very very clear to you and you have already subscribed the channel as well okay all right moving on uh, now i will get to this one so total sum now i will add plus one total sum is equal to 2 and 2 is not present so i will update 2 and its index will be 3 okay all right again i get one more one so now total sum will be three total sum will be three and three is also not present in map so i will add three and its index is four okay so it means three sum is occurring at four index okay all right uh, moving on now i got this zero so i will do what i will do minus one to my sum okay uh, i will again remove these two so now total sum is two i will check in map two present yes two is present two sum is present at third index okay 
to 3 it means till this point my sum is equal to 2 till this point also my sum is 2 current sum so I've got another sub array with equal number of 0 and 1 whose length will be 2 which is equal to my answer so I will not update anything uh, moving on moving on what I will do I have again get, got this last element 0 so again I will do minus 1 now this minus 1 and this plus 1 will be cut I got only plus 1 as a sum I will again check in map is 1 present yes 1 is present at 0 index okay so look again look what I have got 1 is till this point my sum is 1 and at the last element also my sum is 1 it means this much sub array has 0 sum and 0 sum basically means equal number of zeros and 1s okay so now how can I get the length look current index is what 6 and my current sum is 1 1 was earliest present at 0 index 6 minus 0 which is equal to 6 and it is my I will update my answer as well because 6 is greater so and at last I will simply return 6 okay all right I think it is now very very clear to you I have already explained it and you can write the code of it as well so I request everyone to please pause the video and try to write the code okay I hope many of you will be able to write the code but if not let me explain it but before that if you have not subscribed the channel till now guys what are you doing here please subscribe I am already giving more than 100% so please subscribe the channel and uh, quickly see the code as well map of integer type map of integer mp is equal to new hash map and guys if you want to give any suggestions to my video to improve it uh, comment is all yours please give it okay so now what i will do if you remember first step i will put is mp dot put zero sum at minus one index okay all right now i will start basically two variables first is my answer which i will be returning and second is sum which is basically the sum at each index i will use the for loop and i is equal to zero i is less than arr dot length i plus plus first thing i will do is i will increment my sum okay update my sum how I'm going to update? Let's see. Uh, sum I will add by what? If ARRI is equal to 1, I will update my sum with plus 1. Otherwise, it will be 0. And when I'm getting 0, I will update my sum with minus 1. Okay. All right. So this is a very good use of ternary operator as well if you are a beginner level student. So please try to use this. Okay. Now I will simply check if MP dot contains key sum. If yes, if mp dot contains key sum, it means I have got a sub array who's with equal number of zeros and ones, and I have to just check what is this length. Okay, so I will update my answer. Answer is equal to math dot max of current answer and new uh, tentative length I am getting, which will be equal to my current index i minus mp dot get sum, which is telling me key this uh, current sum was earliest at this index okay all right and at last if mp does not contain this sum i will put this sum in mp with current index as well okay let's quickly return the answer here and that's it guys that's it let's quickly compile this and meanwhile if you are wondering what is this watch tutorial button so i have made a chrome extension for you with which you can watch the tutorials here only instead of searching it on youtube okay all right let's try to submit this and i think it will get accepted because i'm recording it twice so yeah it is getting accepted i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye